So greetings from Pennsylvania once again. It's time for our second covered bridge for today, and this is the Cuts Mill covered bridge. I believe this is the mill it's named after. Pretty awesome old building. The mill's from 1806. The bridge itself is from 18, was built in 1854. And this one is 93 feet long, so just a little bit shorter than the other, the other one, the other one we were at today. If I can talk, this one is one of the lowest clearances. There's almost most of the bridges we've, we've been to only eight foot three inches. A lot of them are like nine or ten foot clearance. But yeah, we'll check this one out. I think you can already see the design in there, the Burr Arch Trust. That's what the other one was today, the Dribal Bliss Station covered bridge. That one was haunted. I don't have any haunted stories about this one, though. So we are here in Berks County today. I was up at Hawk Mountain earlier today, got the new hat. And like I said, we were at the Dribal Bliss Station covered bridge and out to Cuts Mill. There are only, there's five covered bridges here in Berks County. And this will be the last one. This will be number five. So we're done with those. And this is my home county, too. All right, let me turn it around. This one's a little bit... A little bit different than some of the others we've seen. So here's looking inside. This one has a concrete floor. It doesn't have the wooden floorboards going across. It has a metal guardrail on the side here too. A lot of these beams do look original though. They have that old, that old look to them. Looks like it's a, it's a double burr arch too. Yes, yeah, so that's a different feel. The wood looks a lot older too. I don't know if a lot of rehabilitation has been done to this one. There's your king post in the middle, the, the frame and the two diagonals. Got some cars coming through. All right, things got busy there all of a sudden, but it's quiet now again. Yeah, it just has a different look. Feels a little bit darker in here too. It is kind of a cloudy day, but the other one we were at today had like little windows in the side. Let's light in. Not sure. I'm not. I'm not digging the the concrete floor or the metal guardrail, but I mean that does protect the frame of the bridge from people like uh, you know flying into the wood. Got some old graffiti on here. 1951. That one says. So these are definitely. You know these beams are definitely that old. But it's a beautiful day to be out here. Check out those colors. Fall colors and covered bridges. Just not sure how easy it's going to be to get a side view of this bridge. And everything's private property here. But, uh, well, we do what we can sometimes. All right. I don't think we'll be able to get... We might be able to get underneath. We go back to the other end there. I know a lot of you like to look underneath the bridge. I'm kind of curious to see what this one looks like because it has a concrete floor instead of like the wooden beams. The wooden, you know, like the, you know what I'm talking about, the wooden floors. But that's a cool look right there. You can see the, the autumn colors even through the other side there. You yeah, don't know, not my... This one just seems, even this wood here has a much older feel to it. Lots of graffiti. Carvings, I should say. I guess, I guess that's graffiti in its own way. I guess this one feels dark too because the wood is a much, the wood is older, it has a darker look to it. You can see where they, where they replace some of the beams up in there. A lighter colored wood will reflect light better. This one just feels dark. <laughs> Like I said, it has to do with some of the lighting today. It's cloudy day. Well, let's see if we can get down below. Oh, no squirrel. I'm not sure this is, I don't know if we can, I don't want to trespass on people's property here. I think we can go down this way. Oh, what do we got? Oh yeah, we do have some, I do some steel beams. I do see some steel beams, but they're they're pretty rusted. So they've been here for a while. When we were at Dribal Bliss Station covered bridge, those metal beams were like brand new. This is the Sacony Creek too down here. Beautiful little section here. Alright. 
I just noticed over here. Check out this. It's gonna need some rehabilitation soon. This is where the this is where the earth, the burr arch truss, comes down and butts up against the uh, stone abutment here. It's seen some rot. So look at that. So that's what happens there with these bridges, though. So it's gonna have to have some work done to it at some point. Of course, these steel beams help, though. But yeah, I wish I had a story to tell you about this one, too. I mean, maybe there is a local legend about this bridge, but not one that I'm aware of. All right, but here you have it, the Cuts Mill Covered Bridge. It is some beautiful scenery out here. There's the old mill once again, the old stone mill. I'd love to, yeah, well, you know what I'm gonna say. I'd love to, I could totally live there. But yeah, beautiful place. All right, but as always, I'm gonna hop back in Naomi, drive her across the covered bridge. That's always her favorite part, so let's do that. All right, here we go. All right, there's no one coming across, so we'll just keep going. And we hear, we, we don't get to hear any clankety clank as we go across this one, because the floor is concrete. I kind of like that sound. All right, as always, thanks for coming along and we'll see you on the next one.